Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Gold Rush autographed full-size baseball helmets. Four box. It's a full case right there. That one right there. And it's a random player break number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We sold 26 spots. Everyone gets two players from that list below. It's a nice looking list. Got in this blank list right here. And one spot gets you two, so let's double you up. Like Sir Mix a lot. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. 10 times, six and a four, 10 times for each list. Watching Chop too. And 10th and final time. Nancy on the pole, down to Tyler Brenner. Ten times for the players. Three. And tenth and final time. After ten, we've got Addison Russell down to Mike Piazza. All right, so I'm not going to read off all these names, but I will kind of show you the list as is, and then I'm going to um, alphabetize by your first name. So hang tight for a second. I just want to get all of this on the recording right here. All right, now let's sort by your first names. So Drew, there are your players right there. Edwin, Gary, Ian, Jason K, John, Kevin. Logan, Michael, Mike, Nancy, Pat, Renee, Tony, and Tyler. So there you go. I'm going to pause the video really quick, allow a few moments for trades, and when we come back, we'll play, uh, we'll play a little bit of America's favorite game, Who Am I? We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. No trades, so trade window is closed. So let's rip, the, where's my knife? Let's rip this open. So we got it here. Full size helmets, there you go. All right, so you can see all the helmets right here. All right, let's see what's in box number one. Good luck, everybody. Not time for the bell yet. All right, do we have a name on here? These are all authenticated, but some of them are replica helmets. Some of them are... Almost like no, I don't have a name on this. I don't know who this is. Oh, I think I know who it is, but I just want to make sure. Aha! Oh, there's a sticker on the inside of the box. I th I, I was like, Goldbrush is usually pretty good about this. Okay, wait, where's my camera? Come on, camera. That's what happens in a live show, ladies and gentlemen. All right, okay, there we go. That was weird. That camera was working. All right. Here we go. All right, who am I? Who am I? I am a retired catcher. Played for one, two, three, four, five, six teams my entire career. I'm pretty good. 
14-time All-Star, a World Series champion, an AL MVP, an NLCS MVP, a 13-time Gold Glove Award winner, a 7-time Silver Slugger, and a first ballot Hall of Fame, excuse me, first ballot Hall of Famer with 76% of the vote back in 2017. Jack B, you've got it. It's Pudge. There he is in his Rangers helmet. Let's slide this out really quick. So you got a nice autograph right up front. It's like one, it's almost like one of those kids' helmets if you remember those from back in the back when you were a kid. There's the JSA right here, and you got a sticker right here. Everything's authentic. It's pretty nice. Oh, come on, camera. Why does the camera hate me today? Sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's remove that. Let's try to add that camera back. Is that is off from that one? Yes. Let's add that. Can we activate that. There we go. There we go. And let's slide that down. There we go. Are we back? We're okay. Camera. All right. There you go. There. And Ivan Ivan Rodriguez. Pudge goes to Tony Barkey. Congrats to you, Tony. Appreciate you getting in. I think we're waiting on boxes for these, ladies and gentlemen, so there there may be a, a, a little bit of delay on our end before these get shipped out. Let's give it another extra day or two from you. Oh, sounds messed up? Oh, I know, sorry. Is that better? Oh, I, now I can also tell who's who's lagging. All right, so yeah, I, I had the camera microphone on as well, as well as the regular microphone, so. Tony's name tagged here. Actually, these helmets were from uh, the other day. These helmets were from I saw one in the room, in the inventory room on, on the floor. I don't know where that came from, but there's 2015 black gold. All right. Oh, come on, camera. What is going on here? What the hell is going on? Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. If you're watching live, you can fast forward through all this stuff. All right, let's try that. Again. Let's try this again. I don't know what this can't happen all day. Otherwise, this will be a very short night. Try to go keep. <laughs> I guess I'll keep doing that. That book is really tender. And then there's this awesome jelly. It gives a little bit of spice uh, and some sweetness. But these cats are doing more. All right. Oh, sorry. I, I got to do the audio again because I redid the. Okay. It's gonna be one of those days, ladies and gentlemen.
Sure hope not. All right. Next. I apologize for all these technical difficulties, folks. Who am I? Retired outfielder. Played for one, two, three, four teams my entire career. Eight-time uh, All-Star, an NL MVP in the late 80s, and a Rookie of the Year in the late 70s. Eight-time Gold Glove Award winner, four-time Silver Slugger. I was once an NL home run leader and the RBI leader my uh, MVP year. Uh, ninth ballot Hall of Famer with 77.9% of the vote. Who am I? Nice, Jonathan Griffin. Yes, the Hawk. Andre Dawson. Is Expos number 10 uh, retired as well? The Hawk. If you look up, if you look up uh, videos of him, if you're, and sometimes I have to do that as well. I'm a, I'm a little young for the Andre Dawson era, but, but he's pretty good. He's got an excellent autograph too. Great penmanship on there. So you got the the Cubs C. You've got the JSA sticker right here. The JSA corresponding JSA card right there. Excellent. All right. Andre Dawson. John. John. Uh, John D with the Andre Dawson. There you go, John Deneen. Thank you very much. Yeah, Jack B saying that artificial turf really messed up uh, the Hawks' career. The artificial turf in Montreal at Olympic Stadium. Could have extended his career. All right, next one. Stickers on this side. Okay. This is an active player this time, ladies and gentlemen. Future Hall of Famer? All right. I am a uh, right handed pitcher, active pitcher. From uh, I was born in Lexington, Kentucky. I currently have a, uh, my career win loss record is 23 and 9. With a 3-1-2 ERA, 378 strikeouts, an all-star, pitched a combined no-hitter in 2018, went to Henry Clay High School in Lexington, drafted by the Pirates in the 14th round of 2012, in the 2012 baseball draft, but did not sign. And then, and instead honored his commitment to go to Vanderbilt. He's pretty good at Vanderbilt. They won the College World Series in 2014. I think Sonny Gray may have been on the team with him. Maybe not. Or maybe Garrett Cole was on the team with him. It's not Garrett Cole, though. It was a pretty good starting rotation, though. And then, uh, then what happened? Then he was selected by this team with the 24th overall pick in the first round, 2015, in the 2015 Major League Baseball draft. And then signed on in July 2015 for a $1.78 million bonus. Soon after the signing, Tommy John surgery. Uh-oh. Tommy John surgery, but then came back strong. Who am I? Not Garrett Cole, not Chris Sale, not Snell. Um, I have heard the famous roll call scene from the 1986 classic Ferris Bueller's Day, Day Off many times throughout his life and has even incorporated 
that nickname, Ferris, into his Twitter handle. Could be, could be future ace for this team. Joe Drobeck's got it. Walker Bueller. 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 This feels like a more substantial helmet here. This is a little bit heavier than the other ones. Nice. We got the Dodgers sticker logo right there. There's Walker Bueller's autograph. He's got a nice auto. Good penmanship. Some ear flaps on that too. We got the JSA on the back. There's the corresponding card right there. There you go. That's the inside right there. Pretty nice looking helmet. All right, so Walker Bueller, let's control F Walker Bueller. That goes to Drew, Drew Panter with that one. One more helmet to go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, another retired player, a former left-handed relief pitcher from Dubois, Pennsylvania, is where I was born. Played for one, two, three, four, five teams my entire career. A three-time All-Star, two-time World Series champion, and won an AL Cy Young in the late 70s. Two-time AL saves leader as well. I was not the saves leader when I won that Cy Young. Interestingly. Let's see. Ooh, I got a clubhouse antics section on my Wikipedia. A noted clubhouse prankster in his playing days, I was known for sneaking into the locker room during games to sit naked on birthday cakes prepared for teammates, leaving the imprint of his posterior on the frosting. In my autobiography, I noted that teammate Ron Swoboda turned the tables on him by defecating on a cake which was then delivered to me. I said that that's the reason why I eventually stopped sitting on cake because he thought that someday someone might put a needle in the cake to hurt him i'm a world-class practical joker i engage in creative pranks like putting goldfish in the dugout water cooler and ordering pizzas to be delivered to the other team's bullpen once as i noted i got revenge on yogi Berra for using uh his toothpaste before games by <laughs> injecting liniment into the tube Wow. I said that once uh, once the liniment came in contact with Barra's mouth, it literally caused smoke to pour from his gums. Jeez. I also loved giving hot foots, a time-honored baseball trick where a baseball player will sneak up on another player or reporter while they're giving an interview in the dugout. The unsuspecting victim then has a match or two placed gently into the backside of their shoe with the head facing out. When the moment is right, the prankster lights the match head slinks away to watch from a distance. Yeah, I did a lot of that apparently. Um, yeah, in the post-playing days, became the manager of the Somerset Patriots, an independent baseball league. Managed, uh, managed them to some Atlantic League pennants in the 2000s. Until 2012. Looks like, I, looks like I retired in 2014. Who am I? Yep, Jack B's got it. Sparky Lyle. What a character. 
What? Okay, now what helmet? Is, probably Yankees helmet is what I associate Sparky Lyle with. Yep, Yankees helmet, Sparky Lyle. He also played for the Red. I think he started with the Red Sox in the late 60s, early 70s, and then spent a majority of the 70s with the Yankees, a little bit with the Rangers afterwards, a couple seasons with the Phillies, and then I think half a season with the White Sox. There it is, Sparky Lyle. There's the JSA right there. Where's the card is right in here. So there you go. Sparky Lyle goes to Tony Barkey. There you go, Tony. And there you go, everybody. S apologies about the technical difficulties, but I think the camera is okay for now. So appreciate you bearing with me through that. We've got another one of these helmet breaks up on the site. Check it out on jazpiescasebreaks.com. And I'm Joe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.